Hello and welcome to lesson 8 of this training and I'm always happy seeing you here. Now if you are watching this on our YouTube channel please subscribe because whenever we bring out something new I believe you'll be notified and so that you move along with us. But if you are watching this from our website or you get our CD from somewhere else by friends or you copy from a flash drive we still say thank you. Now we thank you for giving us the opportunity to even teach you. So quickly in this lesson we are going to discuss on how to create shapes and we will start with the rectangle. Now coming here to our rectangle on our toolbar we will see the symbol of the the icon of the rectangle so once you click you see that you have a, a, a kind of a cross then with a rectangle shape that is moving around now it tells you that you are now ready to start creating your shape now if I click and drag now I will see that this is the shape that I'll create once I let go my mouse. Now in this case if you move your mouse towards the right that's how the shape will be. If you bring it towards the left that's how the shape will be down and up. So it has no fixed measurement of the length and the breadth. You decide and you can also check the measurement here as you can see on the screen so currently it's about 6.095 and vertically is 4.082 so but that depends on how you let go your mouse if I drag now the value change if I drag up the value change so once I let go my mouse then that is how my shape will be now, but what about if I really want it to maintain the same aspect ratio that is one to one? Meaning, if I have four centimeter upward, that's vertically, I will still have four centimeter horizontally. So, for me to achieve that, I will now click my finger on control before I drag, uh, before I click my mouse. So, I place my finger I mean you press your, the button of uh, you, you press the button control on your keyboard then you drag so if I click now and drag you see that I have a, a square not a rectangle anymore because the height and the width are just the same now check out the number you will see that I have 3.289 by 3.289 so as I click and drag you see that no matter what the uh, value remain the same so for me to maintain this shape the way it is then I will not just let go my mouse I'll keep my finger on the mouse as it is now don't let go so what to do now is for you to let go uh, the mouse first before you let go the, your finger on the control button that's while you are pressing it so let go the mouse first then you let go the control or else it will go back to rectangle now let me do it quickly by releasing the control before I let go the left click on my mouse so if I say now control and I click and drag now I have control now once I take off my finger off the control button on my keyboard you see then when I press back it turns it to a square so that is how to create a perfect square and a rectangle using Corel draw so now I want us to talk about something very important now check out this is another tip for you now if you want to go back to pick tool automatically just press the space bar on your keyboard so and this is 
the space bar. Are we ready? So when you press the space bar now, it turns back to pick two. And you, when you press the space bar again, it will go back to the former icon that you selected. So we were working on the rectangle two. So if I press back, it will go back to the former position, back to pick tool. So indirectly, I can tell you that the, the, the shortcut for your pick tool is the space bar. So let us just move quickly and explain the notch offset. If you remember, when we started, I told you that if I explain the notch offset, definitely I will get you confused. But now that we've reached the right time, I will definitely show you how. So now when you check here, you will see that it's one inch. That's the notch offset, right? So because um, we've selected inch as our uh, measurement unit. Now, if I click on millimeter, I can change everything to millimeter. Now, there are times where you need precise movement of your objects. I will explain and you see it right now. So, our notch offset is on one inch. Now, 1.0, which is still one inch. Now, I've created this uh, rectangle and let me just say a square because the width and the height is one inch as you can see so if i bring this one here you see that it suits one inch because the gap between this line from the ruler is one inch you know so now as it is now if i want to move this uh, square by shifting it now once i press my arrows the, the four arrows the, the four cardinal arrows on your keyboard now once i press left it will jump by one inch so if i do like this now you see it jumps from this first line to the next line the reason why it is jumping from the uh, one in one one inch is because the notch offset was set to five uh, one inch sorry for that so now if I select and click somewhere else now let me just come here highlight and say I want it to be two then it's now two inch so this time around when I select my my square if I now click on the arrow towards the right it will jump two inch so let's do it can you see so that's the function of the notch offset now another trick is if i come here now and say i want it to be one inch right and click so now as usual once i press is one inch so the magic behind it what if i want it to just move halfway an inch now meaning i want it to be 0 0.5 now, if you want it to be half the notch offset, the value of the notch offset, you press control and then you press the key, whether uh, the, the arrow, whether left, right, up and down. So now that I'm placing my finger on the control uh, key on my keyboard, now if I press right, now you see that it's in between the two of them. Now if I control and say right again now it fits in because it's uh, the, the, the distance is divided by two but if I want it to be times two meaning from one inch to two inch then I need to press a different button but now let me press uh, the key towards uh, the left can you see this is one inch right so now if you press the shift key on your keyboard and press the arrow it jump twice so that is why you see the uh, square is now jumping uh, two times the distance so that is the function of the notch offset I think you're happy with that and I hope you understand it so finally if you want to create a rectangle or any shape and you want the 
the the expansion to be from the middle from the center all you have to do is like now if I come here I have my rectangle uh, icon selected because I want to uh, create the shape now if I keep my fingers on control and shift then begin to drag you see that it's coming in from the middle I'm increasing and decreasing it from the middle if I let go my finger from the shift key you see that it will be increasing and decreasing having the square but it's not going to be from the center so I let go off the shift key and you can see now it's not from the center if I place my finger back to the shift key you see that it's from the middle so thank you very much for staying with me to this very moment now see you in the next lesson and that's lesson 9 for yet another exciting topic thank you very much